Guten Tag. My name is Fitcher here. Today uh, we shall do a review on the Panzerkampfwagen 3 Aus N. And uh, basically it's uh, the N version or variant of it, uh, of uh, the Panzer 3. It did serve in North Africa. I acquired this kit to demolish it. And after going through it there last night, and I'm going, uh, no, I'm going to have to find another way to portray uh, a demolished tank or uh, suffered from combat than going through this. Uh, there's no way that I can uh, smash this up. Going through all the pains of building this and then smashing it up. Um, regardless, uh, let's go see what's in the box. Uh, upon opening up the box, we have uh, the usual. We'll move this to the side here. Okay. Um, we got our tracks. Uh, we have our sprue of uh, periscopes and so on and so forth. A couple of uh, uh, some photo wedge, two plates, our decals. And I'm not quite sure what this pieces, but uh, you know Switcher. A lot of kinky stuff in this one, which is small parts. Uh, let's put that aside for now, and let's look at the instructions. Uh, sprue map. Uh, nicely done. All this blue that we see on there, of course, is uh, stuff that will not be required for this kit, so... Uh, Starting my spares box collection rather rapidly. <laughs> uh, we have our uh, our two photo etches, and uh, we have our instruction sheet along with uh, paint call out. Um, we have uh, what did I say here? Cross Corp, uh, 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 corpse, Mi both Mr. Color and uh, Model Master. Uh, I don't use Mr. Color, but I do use uh, Model Master, so we're cool there. Uh, I probably have most of these because I do have all the German uh, colors. Um, nice detail. Tells you how many of these you got to build and so on and so forth. Uh huh. Quite explicit. Nothing much to discuss here. Uh, we'll know a little bit more than when we get into the details. Uh, build up all your pioneer tools and so on and so forth. A whole bunch of uh, grills, intakes, or whatever that goes on the after deck. Uh, building up the, the lights. Wow. Four parts for a light man over engineered. I don't like that stuff. Just make the light bulb for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, yeah, that gray panel that we saw in the beginning is uh, to build a gun. Once again, uh, we'll see how it comes out, see if uh, it's over engineered. Uh, by the looks of the things here, that's going to be inside. So, mm -hmm. uh, our tracks, they don't show you how to build these. So I'm going to have to figure that one out on myself. Uh, building up of the turrets, the mantlet and the gun assembly and so on and so forth, the breech. Okay. And then assembling uh, the tank itself down here. Okay, 22 steps to build this tank. Uh, it does have a series of jerry cans. Uh, I'm going to repurpose some of these, so depends what happens, okay, if I uh, demolish this tank or not, the degree of detail I'm going to go through it, I'm still, uh, uh, at an impasse whether I want to demolish it or not, uh, we got Tunisia here, the color scheme, okay, for 42 to 43, uh, a different one, uh, 42 to 43, uh, so depending on, uh, 501, 501, Panzer, seems like in, 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 
so these are the last two are 43s and 4243 so there's uh, different emplacements of the okay I see where you're coming from uh, these jerry cans were added for the 43 model so I might wind up uh, repurposing these and just call it a 42 it's nice to have spares okay and you can they can be used elsewhere so uh, without further ado let's go see what's in the box <clears throat> um, I am not going to take uh, these out uh, of their plastic uh, right now um, nice detail um, if these are plates or whatever they seem to have uh, the non-skid coating on them which is nice if I'm not mistaken this is part of the headlight assembly I'm not sure but uh, I'm not up on this uh, armor stuff myself okay I don't claim to have Norm's expertise nor nor Michael's or Cohen's okay uh, part of the turret beautiful detail here on the ring it's got the, the gearing okay part of the front assembly uh, the gun assemblies um, beautiful detail beautiful detail I don't know there we go We got the, the sinking bolt patterns and so on and so forth. Um, I got to learn to use uh, this camera angle compared to when we were at the top. I may go back to the top view for doing my reviews. <clears throat> uh, side skirts with or no not side skirts uh, top skirts and uh, it is textured so I'm not sure if that zimmered it or whatever okay but it is textured uh, nice detail this is going to take a wash rider readily no flash to date that I've seen on the kit Dragon do make good kits. Uh, like a lot of folks say, a lot of them are over engineered. So, the upper hull plates. Let's take this one out of the bag because I'm having a hard time seeing if this is uh, textured or not. The, uh, the reason why they want to take the other ones out of the bag is because I don't know if I'm going to build this or not, or I might just sell it, and of course we'd like to have, uh... no, it's just a straight plastic. I thought perhaps it was textured. Um... The front uh, does appear to be a casted part. Okay, there's no uh, casting numbers on it, but it has a nice well detail right here. Damn, I gotta get used to this camera angle. Let's uh, unfocus some of this. Okay, there we go. Uh, does have a beautiful well detail. Let's see if the camera picks that up. I'll hold her still. Same as along these pieces. So, uh, great attention to detail. Okay. Um, and once again, no flash on these. A little bit of discoloration here uh, on the deck, but uh, I believe I'll be able to uh, hide that with primer. Like I said, if I do build this kit. Um, and if I do, it's not going to happen uh, <laughs> overnight. Okay, and 
uh, you'll understand why uh, in a second. Uh, this crew, we got uh, some more of uh, the upper assembly. Once again, uh, beautiful detail uh, on uh, the turret opening, bolt patterns, and so on and so forth. Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of kinky parts. Okay? This is very, 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 very tiny, okay? And I have difficulty with those, okay? Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Very tiny parts. Uh, if I keep this kit, it's going to be a long time before I build it, only because of the parts. Um, nonetheless, um, the detail, the detail is, uh, I don't like using the word second to none, but the detail is crisp. Very, very, very crisp and well done. Uh, even on these tiny parts, from what I can see without my visors on. Okay. Uh, the engine crank handle and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah. Uh, right down to the bolt cutters. Uh, attention to detail is absolutely beautiful. Uh, they've done a good job. They have good molds. I'm trying to find a date and I'll on this thing and when it was casted or whatever. I don't see it. If I do come across it, I'll let you folks know. Uh, outer sprue is... Uh, uh, not quite sure what I'm looking at. Uh, we got some hatches once again. Uh, nope. Yep. Uh, has interior details and so on and so forth. And by the looks of this thing, now this is, uh, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. Let's, uh, let's have a boo. This is a type of bag that you do not wish to open. But for the sake of uh, reviews, okay, uh, it needs to be pointed out right here. That is approximately half a mil in diameter. I'm trying to get the better angle on that and see if I can. There we go. These little prongs on the hatch. Half a millimeter. Okay. Very, very, very delicate. Okay. I don't know where that piece goes, but... Uh, that's the type, beautifully done, the, the, the detail is crisp, the parts are tiny, uh, like, let's look at this here, I mean, my needle is 1.5 millimeters, okay, uh, these are little hooks of some sort, okay, they're 1.5 millimeter in size, very, very tiny for these sausage fingers, okay, <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, it is what it is. Uh, this one here I will return in the bag before I return to the box. Just to protect those delicate uh, legs or whatever we call it on that uh, hat cone. <clears throat> uh, more parts. Size, some cargo boxes or whatever. Uh, something is missing out of here that I took out uh, after the molding process. Same as here. We're not quite sure what belongs there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's not part of the kit. Beautiful detail. Beautiful. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, another screw. Uh, looks like some, some suspension pieces in this one. Yes, it does. We have our transmission covers. Okay, in two pieces. Uh, not sure what they do that. Uh, over engineering, more suspension pieces. Nice crispy tail. To date, I have not found any flash. Okay. I don't even know how many parts are in there. Quite a bit. <laughs> uh, we have our tow cables. Uh, the fronts portion of the hull and not the hull, yeah, the, the upper hull and so on and so forth. Uh, some pads here. Um, nice, crisp, 
the, the, the small ones, I mean, nice and crisp. No flash on that. No, the molds uh, of this kit are excellent. Okay, hopefully I'll find a date here when I come down to the hole. Um, <clears throat> I believe that's uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, the main gun sub assembly breech mechanism. Yeah, uh, there's the gun, uh, one piece board through, so that's nice. Uh, might be a small scene there, but it's nothing that I can't fix. Uh, beautiful detailing on the breech mechanism, if that's what I'm looking for. I will, if what I, it's what I'm looking at. Okay, like I says, folks, I apologize if um, I don't know all the terminology. As time goes by, I will get better as I build more and more of these. <clears throat> we got our, uh, what I believe is our fuel caps and so on and so forth. Various parts, hatches, and uh, nicely detailed. Okay, uh, gun ports and so on and so forth. Whoops, my first piece a little bit of flash. That's on a periscope. Uh, not a great deal. A small sander will get in there and clean that up nicely. Uh, once again, very, very small parts here. Okay, very delicate parts. Um, this, I have difficulty with these, okay? Uh, it's just because my motor skills, my hind-eye coordination is not what it used to be, and my motor skills are, uh, yeah, they're a pain, okay? It's uh, it's something you, you can look forward to, folks, when you get old. My heart's still 25 years old and all that good stuff. I'm a 25-year-old at heart, but my body tells me, no, son, you're 57. Okay, and there's certain things that we can no longer do. Uh, even uh, Michael was mentioning there that uh, he has to uh, <laughs> wear a visor as well, and uh, he's younger than I. Uh, bag of uh, jerry cans, nice crisp detail. I don't see any indication on them whether they're water uh, or um, or fuel. Uh, one picture I saw on one of the kits there, they have. Uh, Triple handles for one and double handles for the next, so a quick reference, but uh, I believe these, uh, if I'm not mistaken, these are fuel barrels, <clears throat> because uh, Rommel did have major, major problems, okay, uh, with logistics in the Tunisia campaign, as we know. Uh, he was advancing faster than his, uh, his supplies could come in, and of course the Allies uh, played havoc with his supplies as well. Okay, so we got some tooling here, uh, nice uh, bolt cutters, we got the, there's a piece that's floating around in there, but we got the engine uh, cranking over lever, uh, some cleaning rods I believe, many, 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 many small parts. Um, mm. It's not that I hate them, folks. I can eat for, uh, you know, a lot of people say uh, it's not the, excuse me, i got to get a drink here. It's not the, um, the model itself, it's the build, and uh, I support that. Uh, parts of the turret, okay, and uh, its hatches. Um, nice and crisp, lovely details, lovely details. Uh, fine bolts, okay, uh, in there. Um, hmm. Dragon did a good job, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and then we have our, our wheels and suspension parts. Uh, nice crisp detail on the wheels. The rubber is installed. Uh, demarcate, well demarked uh, between uh, the, the hub and uh, the rubber. Uh, the drive sprocket uh, is interesting. Uh, not a lot of detail going on that, except uh, for your gear teeth, uh, the idler wheel. I think. Two screws of this, so. Unless that's the back part, uh, we'll have to see on the instructions. Mm. Uh, Upper 
idlers, or upper road wheels, I should say. Track keepers, for lack of a better word. Because <clears throat> they don't do uh, a lot of purpose, they just keep the track up there. Um, once again, some tiny parts. I'm not quite sure where they go. And uh, that's that. Last two pieces left in the box. We have the turret. And uh, it has some detailing on that. On the top. Oh, yes, I can see that. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up pick through that. Because of the glare. I'll try to wiggle it around a couple of times there. See if we can, there we go. We can, there you go. That's uh, the fine detail on top of the turret. And last but not least, we have our tub. No date on that. Uh, nice detail on the side. Uh, the bottom. With its various uh, maintenance openings and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, well, that's your the engine base back here. I got the right end of the so uh, engine repair hatch. <laughs> you could probably drop the bottom end out of that uh, through this hatch and uh, do whatever voodoo you need to do. Wouldn't be done in the field though, mind you. It'd be third line maintenance, anyways. And um, that is it. Um, beautiful kit, well detailed, uh, well worth. Uh, the price, like I said, I got this on eBay. Uh, I have to go back and check the price. Um, so, um, go for it. Um, beautifully detailed. I didn't see a lot of flash, a lot of parts. So, for the modelers out there that like to build lots of parts, and considering you got to put the tracks together, uh, a good investment. Um, shop around. And without further ado, uh, thanks for watching, folks. Switcher, signing off.